Hey everybody, welcome back to Wave Studio One. This is Taz. We're going to do a full review today of the beautiful Turn by Ellen Villa in the color Sandy Blonde Rooted. Coming up. Ellen Villa's Turn is a short, voluminous, curly, bob style cut. It's been very popular since its release in 2019 in the Changes Collection by Ellen Villa. Let's get up close on this color, Sandy Blonde Rooted. Sandy Blonde Rooted is a medium honey blonde, and that's very heavily highlighted then with a light or pale ash blonde. That really brightens it up. Now it does show that there is some highlight in there of a light kind of a rusty brown, and in certain light you can see some of that, but overall it just looks like a nice medium honey tone with some lighter highlights. All of that is on a medium brown root. It's got a lot of dimension and I look at this as being more of a neutral color. Going over the specs for this style, there's about a six inch fringe bang. Um, it does part right there on the left and kind of sweeps around the face. The fringe does seem a little straighter in texture than the rest of the style. There's about an eight inch crown area and that tapers into a three inch nape. There's some layering on the sides and it features a temple to temple lace front and left monofilament side part. I think this particular lace front is done very well. It runs temple to temple and even on this dark rooted style you can see where they've brought the highlight up to the lace front. It just really nice, nicely softened there. The grid is fairly fine. And then that parts into a left monofilament part that nearly reaches the crown. It weighs just over two and a half ounces. And it's a really beautiful length. It just rises above the collar. It gives you year round comfort, but especially in the warm summer months, it keeps the hair off of the neck, which makes it really nice and cool. So let's talk about this texture. It's a beachy, air-dried wave look. Um, it's been tapered and textured at the ends, which is most obvious in the back. So the permatease is really what gives this style um, the shape because we're gonna see quite a bit of permatease all around that monofilament part. So there's quite a bit of permatease on the top, uh, just above the temple and at the crown and, and in the back especially, kind of props it up. Um, there's very little at the nape. The nape does hug the neck. So there's a lot of hair on this style too. Um, and, and though it's been very heavily texturized, it doesn't feel like it's too heavy on my head. But like I said, there is quite a bit of permatease to hold its shape and its volume. It has more of a rounded look to it. Um, now I will say that I actually find that parting this a little bit on the right gives me the most flattering look for myself as I was just kind of playing around with it there. And you can do that, even though there's a left-hand monofilament part, you can actually take just the front piece because there's a lace front there, and just switch that over to the other side while leaving the main part where it is. And that'll just help you switch up your, little, your look a little bit. So I do have some experience with this style. I reviewed it for Taz's Wig Closet back in 2019. I reviewed it in Champagne Rooted, and I have that one here. So let's go ahead and take out that style so that you can see some of the differences from one of the original turn and this one. So the specs and the measurements are all the same. However, what you're going to see is that the Champagne Rooted, uh, the original one that I had, seems to have a lot more volume. The layers are longer. It has more body. It's less tapered and textured in the back. And around the face, it seems to be a little more dense and a little more choppy in texture. And these are just some of the differences that you can see in a style as it evolves over time.
here's what you need to know about the cap for Ellen Villa's turn in the changes collection. There is that temple to temple lace front, seamless back into a left monofilament side part. Nicely done there. A little bit of permatease with the open wefts on top. A felted ear tab, nice sturdy long stays. An extended velvet nape with Velcro style adjusters. Now typically in the changes collection, these caps run a little more average than some of the other legacy Ellen Villa styles. So I had to cinch this in a little to accommodate a petite average circumference. So I feel like it is truly average. This style is right out of the box. I simply gave it a few shakes, applied it to my head, and worked the hair around my face. I haven't used any product or any styling on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at glasses. My reader glasses fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab on this style. Thanks so much for joining me today for a look at Ellen Villa's turn in the color Sandy Blonde Rooted. Don't forget to check it out at Wig Studio One. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.